media. The thing, of course, that it fascinated me about this is that you built a catapult. Um, <laughs> so how does it actually function, the catapult? What was it powered by? Oh, I, I, um, I went to Home Depot and um, scoured out. Good start. The, yeah, yeah, the, the largest spring. Actually, funny enough, it was my father who was doing this, and he was sending, sending me pictures. Is this big enough? I was like, no. And so, um, anyways, we found it and uh, basically just kind of just like jerry rigged it together because it was just like, I mean, it was really, we didn't really plan it out very much. Um, I mean, I didn't, I guess. Um, I just put some two by fours together and then attached so, this giant. Spring. So the black line is the spring? Yeah. Okay. So we don't see it pulled all the way back. Did you pull it all the way so it was like level to the ground? Yeah. To launch I mean, it? just about. It was, you know. On a wood piece of wood. Did any idea what the spring was for originally? What? I have no idea. I don't know what you, what you, <laughs> you use that for. Yeah. Like that. It's not like a door spring. It's not yeah. like an auto spring. So. <laughs> and um, so the the uh, the cup that's holding it is just a, a metal cup. Yeah, I found it in my garage. Oh. <laughs> and everything else was just two by fours. Yeah. So. Did it have a tendency to topple over? Um. You know, it did, and it actually broke several times on the test runs because the force of the spring was so great that um, all the momentum broke the bottom board. I, I built Side, you know, side okay. stuff. <laughs> okay. Okay. You need a good base. You need a wire yeah, base. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So uh, the whole point of this was to smash something you, bet you made. Yes. Okay, could, could you tell us a little bit about that, about making the, the bust and busting it? <laughs> um, so making it, um, it really, it only took like two, two, two or three days, and that's like con two consecutive 45 minute periods. Um, but I wanted to base it off of basically um, like Romanesque, you know, David kind of style bust, because that's very just classic, you know, if someone thinks 3D art, they think that. Um, and so, um, so I did that, and you know, it was just ceramic. Like, you fired yeah, it, yeah, just yeah. a clay fired. Yes, um, and then I just no, I just I just painted okay. white, um, and hmm. so, so there yeah, was, yeah. there were no calculations in gee, this is uh, too heavy for the uh, the catapult, or there was none at all, and it was just complete like you know, <laughs> I I only tested it once with. Like just wing it. Like yeah, no, no. Basically, because I, I one time I, uh, I tried out with like a somewhat same like weight piece of clay that I just launched out of there. I was like, that kind of worked. Let's try it for real <laughs> with a piece that I made that, that hopefully is correct. So the the mystery for me in this is where is the hatchet and what was it for? <laughs> I wanted to make this as dramatic as I could because. I can, <laughs> and so um, so what I did is um, the the actual two by four that that uh, holds the cup basically was just brought back, and then I used a, a piece of string and just tied it on there, and which held, and then I uh, at whatever um, I think it was uh, it was twelve twelve o'clock and it was twelve thirty eight and nineteen seconds that I was gonna you know, cut it out. And then it just at that time, you know, timed it out and So you used, it. you used a hat. A hat yes. Just yes. chopped the string to release it. So yeah. that's what the hatchet was for. Because yeah. I was wondering, you couldn't see it in the full oh, okay. anywhere. Yeah. So I was wondering, where, where's the, the, the hatchet? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, where is this taking place? This is um, right outside um, the 2D art classroom. Um, that is across the hall from our 3D classroom. But this is basically an area where um, they, they do uh, raku firing, and just, it's just kind of miscellaneous like our outside art things. And, uh, and thankfully enough, my uh, principal let me set up some bricks and uh, watch it. So it wasn't a case of you saying, hey, 2D, look at this. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> yeah. This, was, this was actually at, I wanted as many people as possible to come see this happen. And so this is that. Yeah, I know, exactly. And that's why I handed out flyers and um, and so But you couldn't do it against the just the bare wall. You needed to put up the cinder. That was that was the only uh, 
stipulation. Yes, right? from the from the principal. He, he just didn't want his, his wall. In ruined. case you actually managed to yes oh, become just, medieval. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was through the brick. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so you actually lugged these cinder blocks. Were those also from Home Depot? They were from my house. They were. Um, it was a it was a failed um, dream as a child building a. Uh, actually, no, it worked out for a period of time. It was a it was a half pipe and then. Oh, and, then, and then it rotted, so that's where those came from. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, how long did this, uh, after you fired the, the ceramic, I mean, but just how long did it take to just put all this together there? I mean, did you spend an afternoon testing this thing, or? No, was it, it, was, it was like, first try. it was like move? five minutes just setting it up, and then, yeah, first try, yeah. Kind of anticlimactic, I mean, it was just. <laughs> what? <laughs> That was it. Boom, done. Well, I, that was that was all I intended. So, did you control the, the photography, or I, I rushed to someone that I knew that had it was carrying a camera. I was like, "Can you come take pictures right now?" Because it's kind of the important aspect in capturing this. Because this wasn't even meant. I, I didn't even ri originally um, intend this to be the piece that I was going to submit. This was just some idea. I was like, "Huh, hey, this will be funny," and then I ended up doing it. And then. This doesn't seem terribly well planned out, I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> you got very lucky, is what you said. Yes, say. I know. It, it's, it's crazy the amount of circumstances that, I mean, more than, than what I've told you, that just, I don't know, surrounded this piece. So, um, it's, uh, well, yes, I, I think it, it was close to Monty Python ish. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's what I wanted. Yeah, exactly. Well, thank you very much. Congratulations. Yeah.